it's hard to say. I've always been bad at explaining what kind of art I like. Um, I like anything that's kind of on the edge and avant-garde. and I like darkness, too. I'm a big fan of darkness. I, I, I'm, I'm not a big bubblegum guy. I don't, I don't really like... You ask me what I like. I'm not going to get into what I don't like. I just like things that aren't perfect, you know? <laughs> and if it's not perfect, if it's dirty, and if it's real, yeah, that's the kind of art I like to see. You know, but I play in a punk band, so what do you want? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so tell me what kind of theater you don't like. What kind of theater I don't like? I don't like, um, okay, I don't like any story about a person who is like, on this journey, I mean, I think all plays, I think all art is about a journey, but I don't like any kind of journey that ends with someone just becoming validated by uh, somebody else's perspective of them. You know what I mean? I like I like plays that where people find their own way as opposed to somebody giving them the way. Kind of like any 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 story with a female lead role, they almost always end the same. They almost always end with the female lead being like, oh, I'm ugly and I have a shitty life and nobody loves me. And then she meets some guy who's like, I think you're beautiful. I want to marry you. And she's like, great. I'm somebody. I'm actually worth something. Like, I don't like, I don't like stories like that. I don't like stories where people just, it's so easy, you know? Um, I, I, I love, I love some musicals, but I, I can't stand most musicals. A lot of musical theater, just, I, I don't know, I, it seems very forced and fake and trivial to me. And, um, but, you know, I don't know much about musicals, so I don't really know what I'm talking about. But I haven't seen very many musicals I've liked. <laughs> Surprisingly, I loved Cats. <laughs> I loved Cats. I thought that was a really cool play. Uh, old generation versus new generation and how they're exactly the same and equally as corrupt. I thought that was really cool. And how it didn't really have, like, a perfect ending. It was just kind of like real. I liked the music too, um, but I haven't seen many musicals like that. Most musicals aren't like that. Uh, yeah, I just don't like anything where everything's easy and spoon-fed, you know? I don't like spoon-fed shows. Uh -huh. So like the birthday party, for example, when New Fortune Theater put on the birthday party, that was the biggest honor for me because it's one of my favorite plays, <laughs> you because know? it's the opposite of spoon-fed. It's kind of leaves you hanging and yeah. you don't really know what's going on fully. And that's what life is. <laughs> so, yeah, I like that kind of stuff. Anything that's the opposite of bubblegum spoon fed is good. By the same dude who did uh, Waiting for Godot, I think, I think it's Samuel Beckett. All I know is I've read Not I like 17 times because it's one of my favorite plays. I don't even remember who wrote it. I just know I love reading it, you know? And I know the way it's supposed to be done is, I'm sure you probably know this, maybe you don't, but it's uh, just a mouth on stage with like a little beam of light on a mouth. I love that. There's no costume, there's no lights, there's no set, there, there's one light, there's no set, you know, it's literally a mouth just talking. I, I think that's so pure and honest and it's just train of thought like poetry. And uh, yeah, not I. If I had to pick a favorite play, a play I would love to see put on in San Diego, not I.